had business through it i've had job recommendations through it i've, I've basically i've made money from that platform i can honestly say that Welcome back to the Financial Style on your Star Radio, 98.7 FM. It's 10.42 here yeah. on New Star. LinkedIn is basically the grown people's version of Instagram, okay? Because I don't know what to do with the gram right now. I'm learning how to take photos, you know. I, I actually genuinely am. This is, a, this is a skill and an art that I didn't know how to do. I've got one dry pose. And when I look at all my photos over the last however many years, it's literally the same dry pose. But anyway, so I'm learning. But LinkedIn, I was actually a networking facility, uh, I suppose, facility that I really gravitated towards. And why? Because it was all about business. And I have a pretty extensive, extensive reach um, in LinkedIn. And, you know, I get I've had business through it. I've had job recommendations through it. I've, I've basically I've made money from that platform i can honestly say that i cannot say the same in the same way or to the same extent with instagram for sure sure and for facebook for example but for many people who are not familiar with the instagram uh profiling and how it all works it actually is somewhat of a different world and what i will say is different about linkedin sorry no not instagram what's different about linkedin now is that it doesn't quite work the way that it worked when i first became a linkedin member so i still grow my following but actually are those people engaging with me in the way that they need to you know are the offers still pouring in the way that they used to how is it when you're posting on linkedin you can actually create engagement because the rules are slightly different to when you're posting on say Instagram or on Facebook as a platform and so what I wanted to share with you for this morning's five and five are five ways in which you can go about um, putting out your LinkedIn posts in a way that gain gravity so the very first thing that you want to do is think about how you create headlines in LinkedIn LinkedIn is a great space to put articles and blogs and things of that nature and again I've done that in the past but when four people read them it can be a little bit demoralizing however if you use the correct language you'll find that it will have a huge and significant difference on the way your post is engaged so we want to use words like habits in the headline uh, apparently using that word received an average of 1100 shares on a post uh, using words like mistakes also drives shares that was over 500 integrating words like successful was also really important over 400 shares and then using language like leader or leaders in your headline also generated an average of over 400 shares on a post so think about your first line your byline your headline and try and incorporate that kind of language that people who are trying to build their businesses and their careers want to hear the second thing um, is lower the reading level now this might sound a little counterintuitive but actually even though people who are maybe university graduates or actually very intelligent people because they're out there running their businesses and doing their thing might want to read what you have to say the simpler the language the better and actually this is something ironically that I still work on now because my language is quite complex in all fairness and um, but also I I've learned that as a journalist so you know it, it's basically for lack of better wording dumbing things down a little bit but the thing is it means that people can read it quicker it's more relatable they get through it a bit faster and they enjoy reading it more so basically you want to be in a position where actually the reading capability in terms of understanding comprehension of what you're written can be understood by an 11 year old if you can actually bring it down to that level that is the most desirable level for what people want to read even in a LinkedIn setting you want the optimal length of a post okay so interestingly on LinkedIn posts that have more words actually get more attention than ones with less so uh, again the average shares on a post with less than a thousand words was 6,000 shares however the average shares on a post that had 2,000 to 3,000 words was 8,000 so actually people want a little bit more detail and it's really interesting actually because a really good friend of mine 
um uh, well and someone who i have a lot of respect for i've noticed recently that she's been posting much longer posts and much more detailed posts and they've really been getting traction so people are out here trying to read okay and that's maybe the difference between say linkedin and instagram where actually often it can be the shorter the better um, unless you're actually telling a real story you know people don't want to hear it and that's the other thing i'd say actually just as a sneaky bonus one tell stories secondly deepen your relationship with um cta now i know you're all there thinking what does she mean by that but again it's calls to action okay so again you want to be putting out you know good headlines a decent length post but you want to call to action at the end of it you want to be saying to people this is what you need to do next now very interestingly on linkedin i've noticed a lot of people have been using polls as their call to action so you know tell us what you want to hear about next or tell me what your thoughts are between a b or c or what have you so don't be afraid to do exactly the same thing keep your readers visually engaged so this is where like other social media platforms using things like photos are always going to be beneficial people are engaging much more with video and photo now than they are with um with posts that just have words so don't be afraid to use that sort of um format as well and then you know the last few words i suppose i'll give you on this is just recognizing that when you are posting and you are expressing to people what your service offer is whether that is as an employee as a in your career or as a business just remember that what you're doing is resolving pain points so you want to start off with a pain point you want to talk to people about the sort of thing that they might be struggling with and what needs to be fixed and then tell the story of how you're wanting or how it can be fixed um, and by doing that again what you're doing is you're able to engage people thinking of the exact same woman i'm thinking about as i say she's a psychologist and what's really been interesting is that a lot of her posts recently have been about mental health and really talking to people about how they take care of their mental health how they're managing themselves all of that and she's broken those subjects down and like i say it's getting massive engagement so have a little think about what you're putting on your linkedin if you are serious about your business or career it is definitely a platform that you need to be on but what i would say is treat it like any other get to understand it get to grow with it first and then develop from there and i'd love to know how you get on so please feel free to get in touch you can do that via the website financialstyle.media and let us know how's it going you know are you able to build your linkedin are you building that platform are you making some money from it because let me tell you if you if you get your linkedin right it is the one platform that you will make money from easily because people will be looking for your skills they will be looking for your expertise and they will be out here offering you some coins anyway we will be back in a few moments to have a little chat about whether money matters in relationships or not and what that should look like this one is Silla Ray featuring Tiffany Evans